The Zacks Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zacks Rank Buys. Welcome back to another edition of Zacks Rank Buy. I am Brian Boland and I am the Aggressive Growth Stock Strategist and I'm here with two more stocks for your Aggressive Growth Radar Screen. All right, so our first one is Elf Beauty, and I know I've done this one a few times before, and it's E-L-F, and we're not talking about the woodland creatures. We're talking about eyes, lips, and face, and this is a beauty retailer, cosmetics, as you can see right here. That's the industry. It's a Zex rank number one strong buy, and it has that growth divergence that makes me smile. I love to see a strong growth style score and a weak value style score because value investors and growth investors are inherently looking for different things. Uh, now that we got that out of the way, let's just call your attention down to this chart right here. And this is only, you know, a couple months. And you can see there was a recent report. And here's the line that tells me there was a report. And the longer the line, uh, the better the earnings beat. And especially if it has, you know, this sort of thing, just a little thing for your for your Zach's uh, chart knowledge. I think each one of those is 10 percent or something like that. I don't maybe they got rid of it. I don't know. But as you can see, the stock shot higher after this earnings report. Boy, oh boy. Good news. Right. Well, we've done this before several times. So let's run through the numbers as we always do. And we can look at a nice, good 70, nearly 70 percent beat. Buck and a quarter. Buck 08, buck 10, buck 10. So I guess that straight line is, is greater than 50%, right? I think that's what it, that thing is. And uh, so they are on average doubling the number. And, you know, obviously that's, that's been, it's been happening here, even this lowly 70% beat, but you know, that is all good stuff and, and it's all good, but here's the real deal. Um, you know, the estimate movement, each of the last few quarters have been beat and raised quarters where, you know, the uh, the guidance comes out ahead of Wall Street. And that is what we live for in, in the investing world. I mean, for the most part, uh, 45 cents to 56, 39 to 43. That's good. The buck 59 to a buck 78. That's great. A dollar 90 to 208. All of them moving in the right way. So let's cheat just a little bit and then. Talk a little bit about the sales. Uh, I like the sales. You know, I'm a big growth guy, so that means I like the top line. You can't have a bottom line that is growing when the top line is not unless your expenses go to zero. Very old saying that just isn't possible, right? I mean, your expenses don't go to zero. Your expenses can, can come in, but you need top line growth to increase the bottom line. So 25% top line growth for this current fiscal year. So let's make a note of that, that we are in 2023 in the calendar, but they're going to, they're off, you know, their March fiscal year, 13% uh, next year. But, you know, it's it's awfully early in the cycle to know what 2025, 2025 is. It's not 2025. It's 2025, just if you're keeping score at home. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the valuation on our elf. So when you post a 78% top line growth in, in in a retail environment that is awfully weak. You know, we think we saw Ulta, you know, while they beat, they consistently beat, but they uh, they dumped their earnings, dumped, their stock dumped after the, after the report. You get solid growth. It's like then you're going to see more of the investable uh, dollars that are looking to be, you know, in this space. They're going to go here. Uh, so... That means you're going to pay up for the stock, and that means a 59 times forward earnings multiple and a heavy 13.6 times book and almost a 10 times sales multiple. Those are big numbers. Uh, but here we see the thing that I love to see. They're, these big numbers are getting a little bit of justification here. Uh, you think of the cosmetics and, and this sort of thing. It's an awfully thin margin business, but... Elf has been moving 8.6 to 10.5 to 11.5. You know, when your margins are growing, your sales are growing, your earnings per share are going to grow. So let's take a look at this chart and watch out. Oof, we beat all the time. I mean, that's what that's what all those green arrows say. We beat all the time. Here's what I was talking about before these dashes. I think they're only 10% there, but anything over 50% gets the big solid line. And you can see... This has just been a streak of 
get out the way. Uh, estimates still nice and high above the stock price here. That tells me that we, we could easily, easily expect this trend to continue. Uh, and I hope it does. And that is our first stock, and it's Elf Beauty, eyes, lips, face, hovering at 100 plus. Who knows where it goes after the next report, if it is yet another beat and race. All right. Our next one is one that I, I really have no knowledge of, but I'm going to go through it just as I would any other stock. It's Uranium Energy. It's UEC. And I don't know any colleges that have UEC, but that seems like the University of Eastern Connecticut, maybe East Carolina. I don't know. It's kind of more South Carolina. Um, it's a Zach's rank one strong buy uh, with the B for growth and an F for value. And I love to see that. Now, uh, we're going to see that where this is, you know, I don't know anything about it. We're going to learn on the fly. It's a mining company. We see that we have a decent market cap and we've got a pretty decent uh, amount of volume for this this sort of name. It is a very low price stock uh, down a little bit. Um, let's do let's just do let's cheat. Let's cheat, shall we? Um, that isn't what we want to see. We go down like this, but then we see OPEC has been cutting. So, you know, you're going to start looking at other things. Obviously, if the company's name is Uranium Energy. We can use deductive logic to learn that they're looking for uranium in mines, right? Do we see anything like that? Uranium mining. There we go. The uranium, you know, is nuclear a big thing? Kind of. Um, it's important out there, but. Let's go with the rest. Of, you know, we got to have our numbers line up before we even bother with any real depth of due diligence on this monster beat. That's a good when they're looking for that loss and they post a win. Here, same thing. Looking for a loss, post a win, but ugh, looking for a loss and a smaller loss, which is good for a beat. Here is the estimate is zero, and we post a big win. So that that is really four for four, uh, and your your rolling average should be somewhere right around you know, 300% on average. So uh, I would imagine that this is somewhat thinly covered. Um, so with that, you're not going to see too much movement here. You're not going to have, you know, the agreement and disagreement and things like that. So uh, loss of two cents, holding steady. Uh, loss of two cents, holding steady. But for the full year, we go from loss of two to break even. The next year, we're holding steady at a loss of five. So Maybe a difficult uh, thing to kind of look into, uh, you know, from the analyst perspective, that poor fella that or the woman or whomever uh, is doing this. But um, you cannot deny this kind of number. You just can't. That's just not a thing. That is reality. That is a 390 percent growth on the top line. And woof, this is an even worse number. <laughs> I mean, as great as that number is. Then we're going to get sales cut in more than half. Oof, oof. Going from 114 million to 50 million. Is that, is that, oh, yay, yay. That's the thing where you got to go through the numbers. You can think about a stock, you can think about a sector, you can think about the rank, but you got to go through these sorts of things to understand that, boy, oh boy, uh, I don't want, I don't want to be hanging around if that's really the case. Um, but since we're already in here and we can see that they posted great sales growth, maybe that's going to continue, but we don't know. Um, close to zero on the, on the, on the, tr on the forward number. I don't know. I guess that's because later in the year it's break even, um, trailing 43 times 1.8 price to book 10 times price to sale seems pretty rich. We got margins going the right way. I like that. Uh, but interesting story here on the UEC. What has the stock done? Let's just try to figure some things out when we look at a picture like this. We don't want to see this sort of thing where this earnings, this EPS number comes in then below that one. So this is the next year. We don't want to see earnings contraction. And boy, oh boy, we're going to see it right there from here. But uh, it is the next year is a long way out still. Um Energy is is a is a hot topic. Is a thing of importance. Uh, is UEC the play? It, maybe, maybe not. Uh, that that growth number scares the, the the living everything out of me. But 
we do want to keep it on the radar screen. Being on the radar screen doesn't mean we're buying it. We're just watching it. Thanks again for joining us in this Zach's Rank Buy. Be sure to join us next time when we'll have two more stocks for your aggressive growth radar screen. And be sure to go to zax.com slash promo to see all of our latest promotions.